During the holidays, gingerbread somehow needs to sneak into your kitchen. Well, today I'm going to make orange glaze gingerbread muffins on this episode of Cook This. Hey guys, I'm Shireen with Cook This. Today we're making gingerbread. This is great with your morning coffee. So it's different from what we know and love when we were a kid. The little guys, we're gonna make this a little different. We're working with all-purpose flour. You want two and a half cups. And the reason why we're sifting it, you'll see. There's actually little balls that if you don't sift it, it actually could make a tough cake. So we're gonna keep it nice, light, and airy baking soda, some salt, but I use kosher salt because I cook primarily. That's the oven, it's telling us it's ready. So I like to just sneak that kosher salt right in the bottom, it's not gonna reach through the sifter. So I have some cinnamon, allspice, and ginger. We're gonna sift those as well. So we just push them through, that way our cake is nice, light, and airy. All right, great, so we're just gonna set this aside and now just cream our butter and brown sugar. So we have a lot of dark brown sugar here. And our butter, so you want room temperature butter. That way it creams beautifully together. You always want to push down your mixture periodically as you're working. That way it pulls all the ingredients together evenly. All right. About another 30 seconds, and then we're going to add our molasses oil, which makes it super moist, and three eggs. So this is what makes a classic gingerbread, molasses. So great little tip. Take a piece of wax paper or parchment paper. Then you would just want to take our sifted flour mixture and evenly dump it almost into a straight line. And then that way, when we add it right into our blender, it's not going to fly all over the kitchen. I like to be a clean cook or baker today. <laughs> when we're done adding the second batch, We'll increase the speed for just a little bit and then cut it. We don't want to overwork the flour because again, that gluten, it makes everything tough. Just push down the sides and it comes together really quickly. I like to just transfer it into this pitcher. It just makes it a little easier when you're adding it into your muffin tin. Now into the oven at 350 degrees until they're puffed, tender, and cooked through. Now for the orange glaze. So this is a really easy icing. So you have confectionery sugar. So we have pure orange extract. So just a little goes a long way. So you want about a half of a teaspoon. And then you gotta have something fresh in there. So we have fresh, freshly squeezed orange juice. So just a little, just to sort of pull it together. And then you just wanna whisk it. If you feel it's a little dry, you can just add a little bit more orange juice but really a little goes a long way. You don't need much. And that's your icing. Pretty easy, huh? It's gonna be beautiful on these muffins. So now you just wanna drizzle the orange glaze right on top after they're cold. For this recipe, check out the newspaper's website. 
and visit me on Facebook and Twitter for more culinary tips. Happy holidays.